Barbara Hale was a film and television actress best known for portraying Della Street on the hit TV series Perry Mason. Barbara was on her way out from the entertainment industry when she was offered the role to spend more time with her kids, but she was talked into it and the rest is history. Join Facts First as we explore how Barbara Hale confirmed the rumors in her last interview. According to the late Barbara Hale herself, she enjoyed playing women who exhibited a kind of independent streak. This sentiment is apparent when one examines the actress's most iconic role. From 1957 to 66, Barbara became a big star thanks to her work as the character Della Street on the show Perry Mason. The show ran on CBS and featured star Raymond Burr as the titular character. It followed the life and times of attorney Perry Mason, who was based on a famous real-life lawyer named Earl Stanley Gardner. Unlike many real-life figures who have gotten pieces of media based on them, Earl took great care to make sure Perry Mason portrayed him correctly. One way in which he exerted his power was by ensuring Perry and Della never hooked up. Raymond Burr was the star, but the ability that Barbara Hale had to draw in audience members can't be denied. Perry may have been the show's main character, but Della Street was integral. Barbara brought the sex appeal whenever she showed up on screen, and viewers quickly fell in love. Many assumed Perry Mason would eventually fall in love with her as well. According to Barbara, she received loads of letters from fans asking when Perry and Della would get married. In fact, some even asked whether the performers who played the characters were going to get married in real life. Some even assumed they had already, based on their unspoken chemistry on screen alone. Perry and Della never did hook up on Perry Mason, and this was at the behest of Earl Stanley Gardner. Gardner was so adamant about Perry and Della keeping romantic distance, he ordered a scene in which Della sat on Perry's lap to be re-shot after seeing it in the dailies. There was supposed to be an unspoken bond between the two characters that hinted at something more to the viewers, but the truth about whether or not Perry and Della were hooking up was intentionally unclear. But what is clear is that the performers who played these characters were never anything more than friends. This is because Barbara was already married by the time she was offered her iconic role on the show. Della Street was a unique female character. Della Street was Perry Mason's secretary. As a working woman, not defined by any type of romantic relationship, Della was certainly a TV character who was ahead of her time. The importance of Della didn't go unnoticed when it came to the woman who played her. Barbara Hale was well aware of how revolutionary of a female character Della was. So was the audience, as well as the creative staff behind the scenes of the show. Barbara got plenty of letters from fans asking about the potential romantic relationship between her character and Raymond's, but she got even more letters from fans telling her they'd been positively impacted by her character. According to Hale, she received numerous letters every week while working on Perry Mason from female fans planning to follow in the fictional character's footsteps by getting into law themselves. This was at a time in history when more women were getting into the workforce than ever and in more serious positions. Barbara greatly enjoyed being a makeshift figurehead for a movement that saw women getting into the law. The actress certainly made a good choice when she agreed to portray Della. Even so, the offer was something she had almost turned down when she initially received it. She felt as if she was on her way out from her career in entertainment. Most women over the course of Hollywood history have had to audition to secure their most iconic roles. But the role of Della was something that essentially just fell into Barbara's lap. The reason was because the actress was old friends with two of the producers, Corny Jackson and Gail Patrick Jackson, who were husband and wife. Long before Perry Mason was a thing, Barbara had worked with both Corny and Gail on separate occasions. She worked alongside Corny in her days as a model. Corny was working at a Chicago advertising agency that Barbara did work for, and she met Gail when the two became involved in a doll-making adventure that never panned out. Years later, when Corny and Gail were developing Perry Mason, they thought of Barbara as soon as the character of the secretary came up. Barbara almost didn't take the role. When her old friends called her up to offer her the role, Barbara Hale turned them down. At the time, Barbara had three young children that she was taking care of and planning on retiring from the entertainment industry for good. Her old friends ended up convincing her to take the role by telling her not only that the series was only going to last for around 18 episodes at most, but it was also going to allow her to work alongside the legendary Raymond Burr. Barbara was old friends with the pair and she was also old friends with Raymond. 
Raymond was one of the first people Barbara had befriended upon first arriving in Hollywood. The two were both signed with RKO Pictures when they met. Corny and Gale may have talked Barbara into signing on to Perry Mason by saying it would last 18 episodes, but it lasted many more. Even so, Barbara ended up staying on for the whole run and then some. Perry Mason became a hit, lasting for 332 episodes from 1957 to 66. One might imagine Barbara took the opportunity of the end of the series to finally retire, but she continued acting in the years afterwards and all the way up until her death. And she continued working alongside Raymond Burr. In the 70s, Barbara reunited with Burr for the television series Ironside. This was another hit for the two performers. Two decades later, they reunited once more, this time under the Perry Mason banner. In 1985, a made-for-TV movie premiered by the name of Perry Mason Returns. This made-for-TV movie was a success and it led to a whole series of sequels. About 30 were made, and in addition to starring Raymond and Barbara, they also starred Barbara's real-life son. Barbara got to work with one of her kids. One of Barbara Hale's kids is a performer named William Catt. He was introduced into the Perry Mason made-for-TV film series as Paul Drake Jr. Perry Mason fans know this character was supposed to be the son of the original show's Paul Drake. On the original series, actor William Hopper had portrayed Paul Drake. William had sadly passed away from lung cancer before the Perry Mason made-for-TV movies became a thing. William Catt's character helped make up for Paul Drake's absence. Cat had some previous acting experience under his belt when he was brought in. Viewers had become introduced to him in the early 80s via his work on the ABC series The Greatest American Hero. William ended up quitting the Perry Mason series before it ended. A performer named William R. Moses replaced him. Raymond Burr also had to be replaced over the course of the series, though this came because of his 1993 death. At that point, actor David Ogden Steers took over the role of Perry Mason. The final made-for-TV film aired in 1995. Barbara Hale herself had a few more decades in her, not passing away until 2017. She was 94. She's most fondly remembered today for playing Della Street, which is wild when you consider that she didn't want to take the part in the first place. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of the story was most surprising to hear about? Were you a fan of the original Perry Mason? Let us know in the comments section below.